Hey guys! So it's been a while. I've been crazy stressed and busy and... Oh man, I had my dissertation defense on Monday and it was so hard and... Oh my gosh, it was like the hardest exam that I've ever had. Uh, it was the final exam to end all exams for me because... Uh, I passed, which is awesome, but basically that means that the only thing I have left to get a PhD is to submit my final draft of my dissertation. And that I can kind of take a couple months to do, um, hoping it doesn't take that long, but uh, I just have some final edits to make and then I will have a PhD and I will be a doctor, I guess. So it's a little surreal actually, but the defense was the very last exam that I had to uh, do. The defense basically is split into two parts. There was a, about 40 minutes to an hour of a public presentation, so all my friends could come and anybody can come. And I basically give a presentation to them about what my research is, about what is in my dissertation. And that was already really hard. I'm not, uh, I get pretty afraid of public speaking. I was really anxious for days and days and months beforehand. <laughs> Uh, and I practiced a bunch of times over the weekend, and it was not hard, but it was okay. Um, I made it through, and uh, people seemed to enjoy it. It seemed to, it seemed to be pretty accessible, which is what I wanted. And then after the public part, there is a closed session, a private session, with just my committee members. So there's four professors um, and a chairperson to make sure everything goes smoothly and according to university policy. So there were five people, I guess, five professors, and me. Basically, yeah, me standing there, and then five people sat sat there, and they interrogated me, essentially. They went around and asked me questions about my dissertation, about my presentation, and about the research that's actually in my thesis. And it was really, really hard. Uh, one committee member in particular was very, very hard on me, and he asked the hardest stuff. At some point, like, I tried to answer a certain question of his, like, three times in different ways, and he was just like, nope, you're just never gonna convince me, which was terrifying. Like, ah, what does that mean for my passing and everything? But of course, I mean, like, I passed. Um, it's very rare to not pass a defense. Your advisor never really lets you defend. Um, and never, he never really gets you to that point until you're 100% sure that you're going to pass. So it was fine, but um, it was so hard. Because of that defense and because of that particular committee member, I have more uh, edits to make to my thesis than, than I initially wanted or thought I would have. It's what I'm going to be doing for the summer, basically. This weekend now is graduation, which is very exciting. And mostly just pomp and circumstance or whatever, but uh, you know, my family's coming in this weekend, including my nephew Remy. I graduate on Sunday. The graduation ceremony is on Sunday, and so I'll have the robes and the funny hat thing and walk across the stage and get a little folder thingy that is supposed to have my diploma. Um, but because I still have a couple more things to do before my final dissertation submission, um, I'm not going to get the actual diploma, but uh, I will definitely have that before I start my job in September. So. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on. Um, I basically just wanted to document this like transitional period here. I've been so stressed out before my defense and now I can finally breathe again. I can finally relax and take some time to not do work, uh, at least for a few days. I've been sleeping a lot, actually. I feel like I've, been, I've probably been overworked and uh, not been sleeping enough. And so now, like, when I have nothing to do, I just get really tired, and I've been napping a little bit more. I'm sort of just recuperating from my crazy defense anxiety, and yeah, just taking a breath, and then uh, starting next week, I'll probably get back to doing the thesis stuff. But I'll actually be going back down to LA um, next week, toward the end of the week, for my brother's graduation. He's graduating from a fellowship thing after his residency. And then uh, I'm going to VidCon. So if you are going to be at VidCon, you should come and hang out with me. People at this store won't go out. Um, they actually asked me to help them be an exhibitor for them in the expo hall. So that should be exciting. Um, I'm part of Team Awesome. If you didn't know, I'm part of Team Awesome, the running arm, the running group arm of uh, the store won't go out. I actually plan on going running later today as training. Uh, I'm running in the San Francisco Marathon, I may have mentioned. I actually have a CrowdRise funding page for the Star Won't Go Out uh, set up for my, my team, Team Awesome, um, for the marathon. So I will link the CrowdRise link in the do we do. Oh, and if I forgot to mention, this is my tiara. Uh, my friend Nicole gave it to me as a defense gift. So um, 
Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. I love this tiara so much. It's so sparkly. And it's like weighty, you know, it's not just like a cheap plastic. I mean, I think it's plastic, but uh, it's not a cheap plastic where it's really light. Like it actually has some weight to it. Um, and I have a scepter to go along with it. It's very fun. Uh, I feel like royalty. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. And uh, keep in touch. Let me know how you guys are doing, what your summer plans are, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. And with that, you're amazing, you're wonderful, and you are loved. I'm totally winning. Bye.